Fuck. 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 So, how is getting your back tattooed? Well, I thrown up multiple times, went into a serious bad shock where I ended up actually having to stay the night at the shop. First person to ever do so, by the way. And almost oh, every person yeah. that I have talked to that has gone their back done or is getting Shit. it done has said it's been a horrible experience. So, I will say right now, getting your back tattooed is no joke now with the style of tattooing that my artist does and that being full saturation i believe i'm able to give you guys a good breakdown on the pain of the back because i've literally had almost every square inch of my back covered in ink and touched by the needle in some way and throughout all of this tattooing and all my sessions i've had my ipad beside me the whole time noting down every area that was touched by the needle and rating how much it hurts so all these numbers that i will be mentioning are based off of real-time experiences and not me kind of looking back and guessing what it was and how much it hurt. And then also make sure to stay to the end because I will be listing a couple key things and bonus tips that you might want to know because it will make your experience and overall session a little bit more enjoyable and easier. So for the 1 to 10 pain rating skill that I am using for this video, I came up with and decided on this being the kind of guidance that I would be using to better help me determine what each number would be from what I was experiencing and what I was saying during the Fuck. tattoo appointments. Now, my actual full pain rating skill that I did during my tattoo sessions is somewhat a little bit busy and confusing as we can see, but that is just because I was trying to rate as much as I could over the seven sessions that I was getting it done. But to make things a little bit more simple and easier for you to understand, for this video, I will be breaking down the back into averaged out sections along with colors associated with each pane just to better help you visually too. Now, I will be talking about and showing you guys two charts. The first one is going to be a very simple breakdown of the back, enlarged averaged out sections. And then the second one, which will be an advanced one, which is just a little bit more advanced and in depth in terms of the sections that I did. So now let's start off with the first chart and that being the simplest pain rating chart with the large averaged out sections. And as we can see, there is a lot of orange and yellow throughout this chart. And sorry to say this, bad news to anybody out there that is thinking about getting their back tattooed. There is going to be no number less than five on this with most areas averaging from like a seven to an A, which is hurts to hurts a lot. And in some cases, you are going to find certain areas that are almost a 10 and that is almost that is tapping out. Now it is pretty obvious from the pain ratings chart that we have right now that my most painful areas were on the sides of the back near like kind of like the ribs as it wraps around. This is where I experienced the most pain and it only gets worse as you start moving up. I found the most pain is like where the armpit kind of like the lat is. And I will actually say this is the spot where I ended up actually going into shock, throwing up and all that and having to stay the night actually at Stabby. So, you know, watch out for this area. And then also another area that I did find a lot of pain in as well was like around the rhomboid area and like the middle of the back where kind of like your shoulder blade is too. Now the only areas that we can see from this chart that are okay are kind of like the middles of the back in both axes on terms of like the top and the bottom and then on the left or the right. The middle is a little bit sensitive but everything else seems pretty good. So now here we have the advanced pain rating chart and as we can see there are a lot of similarities to that of the simple. But there are also a lot of differences as well with a lot more numbers, a lot more sections, and with one section in particular that a lot of people are curious about, and that is the spine. A lot of people like to get this area done and are curious about it because it is on the bony area. So we are going to get into that now. For me, I found it to be pretty spicy with about a 7 on the top of hurts, and then as you get lower onto lower back, it starts to hurt a lot more at about a you know 8. Now again, like I said, this is going to be spicy because it is on bone. But there is also one other thing we got to take into consideration and that is your spine holds a lot of nerves as they run up and down the body and send it throughout. And with this I found in certain areas where I was getting tattooed, I was feeling certain sensations in different parts of the body. Like I was getting tattooed in my middle of the back, I was feeling a sensation and a tingle on my neck. And obviously that is a totally different area. So you might experience this and that is totally fine. I just think it's because of the nerves as they're running throughout the body and you might just hit one when you're tattooing. Now I do got some good news for everybody out there that is thinking about getting that back done and as you can see it gets a little bit easier as we move outwards from the spine 
Obviously, the spine is about a 7 and 8. As you start moving out, it is about a 6.57 where you are going to be seeing ouch and hurts a bit. But it is very manageable. But then as you start moving out even more, it starts to hurt again. And the reason to why I believe this to be true and why it looks to be right is you have a lot of dense muscle right after the spine, right beside it, and on your shoulders as well. And usually when you get muscle tattooed, it is gonna be the least amount of experience you're gonna feel in terms of pain, compared to like, you know, bony areas like that on like the ribs, or very sensitive areas like, you know, the lower back, or like areas like this, you know, like those sensitive areas, like tendons or anything like that, that's where you're gonna feel a lot of pain, where if you have big muscles like that and dense muscles like that at the back, you are gonna feel the least amount of pain. And obviously we can see that to be true. Now things stay pretty much the same from what we had on the simple. The only difference now being the lower back, that was about an eight on the simple and it turns into about an 8.5 as you get more towards the bottom. Now there is one thing that I wanna point out on this chart that you might have realized for yourself already. And that is there are higher numbers on the left side of the chart than that of the right side. Now this can be easily understood because of the design that I have. As we can see, my left side has a lot more darks, has a lot more work done than that of the right. So in that, I was gonna experience more pain because the needle's touching me more on one side than that of the other. So if you are somebody that goes to an artist that maybe does a little bit lighter style and doesn't pack in the ink as much, you know, maybe the right side is the scale side you should be looking at with the lighter numbers. And if you are somebody that has an artist that really likes to pack in the ink, go in on you, then the left side, what I have, you are gonna probably experience more of like the higher numbers. Now for the people that are new to tattoos or are thinking about getting their back done and are kind of now scared from the rating that I just gave it, please don't be. I want you guys to know that pain is relative and what that means is everyone is going to experience pain differently. Just because I went ahead and listed a certain area with a certain number doesn't mean you are going to experience that same thing in that same area too. But I will say this, and that is from my time being here on YouTube over the last couple of years, talking with so many of you artists, and then just reading the thousands of comments that you leave in those past pain rating videos, I want to say that my pain rating is pretty accurate and on par with what most of you will experience too. Now, I want you to help me out to either disprove or prove that by going in the comments section and letting me know what you would rate the pain in certain areas of the back and maybe any other areas that you've gotten tattooed as well. Now, like I mentioned in the beginning, I have a couple bonus tips that I want you guys to kind of know it will make your tattoo appointment a little bit easier and more enjoyable. The first one is to bring an open long sleeve sweater. This one is gonna be warm because it's gonna be keeping you warm. I'm telling you right now, I know when you start that tattoo session out, you're not gonna be wearing anything. You're just gonna be so energized. You're not gonna care. A lot of heat is lost in that time and you really wanna to try to keep in as much body heat as you can because when you get into those later hours, you are just gonna be drained and then you're gonna start getting cold. And this is what happened to me. I went into shop because I was just freezing the whole time and I didn't keep warm. So being able to throw it on reverse wise, wear it the long way while you're getting tattooed and then also having your back still open for them to tattoo and then also wearing it on breaks is crucial. The next one I got for you guys is to bring a pillow. Bring two if you can. I know you're gonna look stupid, but trust me, it's gonna work very well for you. Most artists, when they like to do your back, like to hunt you over because it stretches out the skin a lot more. And when you're doing that, you're sitting down in that chair, your ass is gonna go numb. And now you're gonna worry about two pains. You're gonna worry about the pain of the back tattoo and then also the numbness of your ass. Sitting is about a 7.5 out of 10. So sitting's way worse. So having that usher comfort from that pillow is gonna have a lot of benefits to you. And then having that second one as well, to kind of like push you up in certain positions works as well. And also, if you don't believe me yet, this is my friend that's getting his back done currently. And he said how crucial it was to bring a pillow to his appointment. So if you don't believe me, believe him. He also took that tip from me. <laughs> now, obviously do what you want, but if you like me and you want to be here and join me on my journey and towards getting that full tattooed bodysuit, then go ahead and hit subscribe. I got a big project in the works for 2023 that you do not want to miss. And I can tell you it's going to surprise a lot of you in many different ways. So you definitely want to be here for that. But if not, totally fine. At least go ahead and like the video and we'll call it even. Now, here are a couple more things that we must consider when we talk about pain rating from what I've experienced that may alter it from what you'll experience. First off, my sessions, we run a lot longer than what the average person usually does. Me and Brendan usually go no less than 10 to 14 hours per session, when on average, most people will do about six to eight, sometimes 10. So my sessions run a lot longer and with the more time being spent on the needle and just draining energy, you will feel pain a lot more. So my numbers may be inflated a little bit because of those later hours. The next one is, Brandon's style of tattooing, he likes to do very saturated work, dark work, so you know, he likes to really pack that ink in 
And with that, there's a lot of abuse to the skin and in that feeling a lot more pain than what maybe another artist and their techniques are too. So when they're too, my numbers may be inflated a little bit as well. So what I would say to everybody out there is maybe take what my numbers are and maybe subtract maybe like half a point or a point and maybe that's where you'll experience and be at for the pain rating of you. Now I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video. It is of my first video of me getting my back tattooed where I go into shock and then go ahead and watch this video is of me talking about the aftermath and what I realized and how to prevent going into shock. So two videos to really go ahead and watch and see for the back.